Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the bloodshed. Uh, we skipped the week again. Yes. Oops. I actually just hurt my back. I have a lot of chronic pain problems, and I moved furniture. I'm not supposed to move furniture, but he was at work, yes. and I wanted the furniture moved, and I'm stubborn. So I moved the furniture. So, <laughs> we have a Tuesday Top Tuesday twofer yet again. It's probably going to be a trend. I apologize. Okay. So we have separate lists again, similar movies, but they're actually, Different order. I think we only agree on one this time, yeah. <laughs> but we missed 1978, so we'll start there. So my number two for 1978, surprisingly, is Halloween. And my number one is Dawn of the Dead. I love Dawn of the Dead so much. Like, I love Halloween. I'm wearing a Halloween shirt. Just realize that. <laughs> but like... I love Dawn of the Dead. I saw Dawn of the Dead before I saw Halloween. I love anything to do with Tom Savini, so yeah. But <laughs> Dawn of the Dead is one of my favorite movies of all time. So that's why it kind of edges out Halloween a little bit. I had to go with, if I were to go put on a movie right now, out of these two, which one would it be? And it will be Dawn of the Dead. So what's your 1970s? My top two is, uh, number two is Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and number one is Halloween. Halloween I like a lot because of the fact that... Because <laughs> it's Halloween? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Lost train of thought. <laughs> train of thought went out the window. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. So, 1979, which is this week, I had trouble with. Because there was two that I was, like, my number two, I, I couldn't decide really, but... Again, I had to go with the same logic of if I were to pick one of these movies to turn on right now, which one would it be? And number two for me is Phantasm. I love Phantasm. I love the fantasy worlds in Phantasm. <laughs> I love the tall man. I think he's scary and hilarious just because I was just like, why? I like that. It's funny. And my number one is Amityville Horror. And I will always love the Amityville Horror. The sequels get wild. Like, there's, I've seen some shit. And I'm like, like not even talking, uh, it's about time or whatever that clock one was. And I do believe there was one with a lamp as well, but like, yes. getting like, I'm surprised if there's not Mecha Shark versus Amityville by now. Like, it's getting ridiculous and I'm kind of here for it. So, that's my top two. My top two, 1979, number two is Alien, and number one is Amityville, Amityville Horror. I like Amityville Horror because of the supernatural that's into it and the story behind it. Yeah, you're um, a big... Uh, I'm uh, big... You, yeah. <laughs> My brain ain't working. Tell me their <sighs> names. The ones that... We know they're con artists, but still it's entertaining. Oh, you're talking about... The, the Warrens. Warrens, yes. yeah. Ed and Lorraine Warren. Yeah. Yes. We, we know they're con artists, but eh, whatever. It's, it's, fun to, it's fun to pretend mm -hmm. that it's real. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, that's that's our twofer. Again, now the eighties are starting next week. That's gonna be trouble. That's gonna be really difficult. So we're gonna try to keep on track with those ones. Try. <laughs> and I swear, I swear, we own more clothes. It's just cold as fuck where we're two. <laughs> we're just always bundled up mm -hmm. in the same hoodies. Yep. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that earlier. I was like, we always look exactly the same, except for my hair randomly changes color. But anyway, thank you guys for sticking around with us for this long, and we'll see you guys next week.